And if you plan on traveling for the holidays and bringing your dog along as you head out of state, be aware there is a mystery illness going around. Bailey Bockover spoke to a veterinarian and a dog owner about this severe dog virus that's creeping its way into communities. She's live in Greenville with more. Bailey. Veterinarians across the country are warning people about a mysterious dog illness that's hitting pets with no cure in sight. A mysterious illness has been spreading and affecting dogs across the country since August. As of now, it's in 16 states. Researchers are unsure of what's causing this atypical canine respiratory disease, and veterinarian Fernand Godfrey says the worry is finding a cure. It is a disease that progresses despite treatment, so it doesn't seem to respond to the most common treatment for uh, respiratory infections. Experts say the illness is spread through close contact between dogs or breathing in the same air as the infected pet. Robert Darling says he gives his dog the proper vitamins to help her immune system fight back against sickness as best as it can. But my basic response is um, you don't get sick if your immune system's healthy and I do everything I can to keep her healthy and same as me. Possible symptoms of the dog virus may include coughing, sneezing, red runny eyes, loss of appetite, or difficulty breathing. Godfrey recommends isolating your pet a bit more to help. So I think minimizing the risk of exposure is going to be key. So really consider if you have to have your dog go into a daycare or to boarding, to places that they will have contact with other dogs that it it's of a known status. According to Dr. Cinda Crawford, chair of shelter medicine at the University of Florida College of Veterinary Medicine, dogs aren't responding to the normal standard of care. If there was a vaccine for this, then I would probably give it to her because I give her all the other vaccines as well. Veterinarians also encourage dog owners to be wary of facilities with lots of dogs in close proximity. In Greenville, Bailey Bockover, WITN News. Dave, Courtney. All right, thanks, Bailey. And although cases have not yet been detected in North Carolina, Trust Vet in Cary says it's highly suspicious its doctors have seen it in their patients.